Oh, welcome back, Blade Gang. This old sword with you. And we've got a new brand today. Fresh off the truck from our good friends at White Mountain Knives. Uh, shout out to Justin. Many thanks for many quick deliveries and turnarounds on knives. And of course, you can all get 10% off by using my discount code Old Sword, all one word. So um, this is a company called Shielden, and I uh, had a, done a little research on them. Although the box does not say they are a Chinese company, so if you don't care for those, you can skip forward now and um, certainly make your own choices. I'm not going to make that for you. And there's some interesting information here. We're going to get to the knife in just a minute. They're calling this the Tranchodon or Trancodon. Sounds like a dinosaur, but it turns out I couldn't find any references other than uh, Pokemon. <laughs> so uh, it might be a creature uh, in Pokemon, and I don't know much about that. The material is going to be 9CR18MOV Damascus, and as you probably know, the 9CR18MOV is a highly regarded steel that's used uh, a good deal by uh, Kershaw and some other manufacturers. And then, uh, you know, we've got the specs, but we're going to measure this out. So you get a good solid box. Um, that's how you can find out more about the company, by the way shielden.net and let's see if I can remember which side I opened I think it was this one and what you're gonna see here if I can get it out of the box okay there we go first of all they give you um, what appears to be a lot of information but you know really just some production shots in black and white and then you've got um, more about it and thank you in six languages. Okay, so enough of that. You do get a very nice uh, belt pouch. I don't see too many knives that do come with clips. And this is with a clip that come in a belt pouch. So there's the logo with the shield, shield on. Not sure where that comes from, but here we go. And I chose this one first. I got two shield and knives in. I chose this one first because it's a beauty in that stainless Damascus 9CR 18MOV. Uh, you can barely see some of the markings on it, which is probably a good thing because of the heavy pattern of Damascus. The handle is interesting. Uh, White Mountain lists it as G10, but in reality, it is a layered carbon fiber in G10. We might be able to show you the way that carbon fiber kind of glistens. It's definitely carbon fiber in the black layer. The handle is nicely 3D machined, you can see, with that pattern there. Heavy on the jimping here, very aggressive, almost a little bit sharp on those shoulders, which do come somewhat above the scales of the handle. There's more jimping on the pommel side. It's a wide open construction with a couple of pillars. It is a liner lock believe the material is steel yep steel liners and you got a, a nicely done pocket clip although it's not deep carry and it runs on bearings it's very smooth that sticks up just a bit too much for my taste um, certainly it could be adjusted we got steel on that too Um, significantly tall flipper tab with jimping. That jimping is not 
That's just about right. Fires out every time. Is not yet drop shut, but it is smooth. Uh, tried a little adjustment on it. Uh, didn't get much change, but it, you know, not every knife needs to be drop shutting, right? So this comes in around 95. Um, less your 10 percent, you can knock about uh, 10 bucks off of that price and bring it down to around 85 with free shipping. Uh, there are several models of shield and knives out at uh, White Mountain. I'm going to be doing a review on one other. So let's take some measurements. And we'll start with uh, my trusty tape measure if I can find it. So we've got an overall length, this is not a small knife, of eight and a half inches. Got a blade of uh, quite close to three and three quarters, just a little shy of that. You probably call it 3.8 ish. We have a cutting edge of almost three and three quarters as well. I think they list this as like a 3.65, but we know those measurements aren't always 100% accurate. And let's uh, put the caliper on it. Since we're already set to millimeters, let's do the blade stock, 3.4. And the handle, let's see, we'll grab it right about there, 0.65. So it's not a narrow knife you have plenty to hold on to the ergos are great you have a uh, nicely rounded contoured scale on each side you have that same somewhat aggressive jimping on the liner release but it does release easily and with no lock stick lock up is absolutely solid drum tight and we're getting about 50 percent on the liner which isn't bad some room for wear let's uh, see if we can get a weight on it So we got almost five ounces, 4.955. Not a lightweight knife. Let's see if we got any weight relieving. Yeah, there's weight relieving in there. You can see those circles uh, on both sides. A small set at the top of the liner lock side and a larger set on the show side. Beautiful Damascus fuller on both sides. I don't know what you'd call this. You could call it um, clip point. You could call it the reverse tanto. Uh, our pivots have nice surrounds. They're T8s on both sides. I checked them out. Um, not a whole lot of uh, screws. Let's see what we got. Those are probably like a T6. And again, there's your clip. Is it reversible? No, it's not. But we do have a lanyard hole. There's some saving graces, right? I like the little pattern they machine in here. And overall, um, as I said, nice ergos. Doesn't matter which position you hold it in lines up nicely you know it's pretty much a straight knife which I tend to like as opposed to knives with uh, the handles that curve or drop uh, with the exception being karambits um, there's the name Tranchadon if I'm pronouncing it correctly for you Pokemon followers and uh, the design is by Django so I haven't looked up Django to see if that's a separate designer or part of the company. 
or what have you. They do make some fixed blade knives, and you check out their uh, website. They make a lot of interesting designs. A lot of thought went into that handle ergo. Uh, as I say, very comfortable. Um, and you can use the jimping if you're choked back. If you choke up, you got a landing platform there, but no jimping on it. It's smooth. There's your uh, Shielden logo, crest. Minimal branding, and again, <laughs> you don't see it very well with a heavy, uh, heavily etched pattern, but this is a fully stainless Damascus, which is nice, of a very decent stainless steel. The 9CR, uh, 9, 9CR, 18 MOV. There it is right there. Let's do a few comparisons. So you can see how it stacks up with our friends from Benchmade. There's the Griptilian. Um, Griptilian handle is about the same. Blade falls a little bit short. As I say, this is not a small knife at eight and a half inches. Here, of course, is the Rat 1, usually a larger knife. And so in this case, we've got a blade about the same, but a longer handle on the Rat 1. So there you have the Tranchodon by Shielden. If you do choose to carry your knife on your belt, this is... Um, Quite a nice sheath, case, nicely done, ballistic nylon. So, hope you like this review. If you do, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe. I've got at least one more shield and review coming up. Look for it, along with a number of other things uh, coming in uh, over the next week or so. Be well, and don't forget to subscribe. This Old Sword, signing out.